Welcome back with another one with the leather saddles. Do you want to learn how to take these from nasty, dry, brittle shape uh, back to being replenished? Let's do that now. Let's go. <laughs> saddles here in Forslund's Fun Factory. Uh, last video you got to see me talk about why I love leather saddles, uh, more specifically mine and maybe my even worn out, kind of old, cracked, nasty ones. In reality you don't want to let that happen to them, keep them out of water, protect them, keep them layered with something that keeps them nice and soft. Uh, I'm going to be taking care of my own personal leather saddles eventually but we're going to take and look real in depth at these three b17 brook saddles and then we're going to clean them you i felt like i was on a spaceship and uh I we're going to lube them up with three different kind of lotions so to speak we're i'm not sure what to do with my hand uh be good just hold them down by okay. your side yeah great we're going to use berman's leather lotion we will use mink oil, but we're going to go with the waterproofing one. Uh, and then we're also going to use Neat's Foot oil and see which one kind of turns out to be better. Right. Well, we're real happy with, uh, with what was going on. And uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you got to be happy. Now, all three of these were stored in a shed on a bike at some point. I will get to maybe rebuilding those bikes, uh, cleaning them up and lubing them at some point on my channel here. Uh, so something to look forward to. These saddles are pretty gross, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, you know, some of them have caked on stuff. Uh, they're all dusty. Underneath, they look like they're starting to get dried out. Uh, and they have light cracks, but they're really not too terrible. Kind of the same deal here. Looking pretty nasty, so to speak. Dry, brittle. But we're going to bring these back. This one's probably the dirtiest. And I should probably label them. I do have to remove the, the clamps in order to lubricate underneath them. Uh, kind of hard to do that with the rivets, though, so that's not going to happen. Uh, and the, the nose cone won't come off either, so I'll lube around them as best I can and hopefully bring them back to decent shape. Let's take off these seat post clamps. Now this saddle is a narrow saddle compared to these B72s. Uh, this one I got on a bike and it's very, very dried out to the point where I'm not sure if I can replenish it. Uh, but we're going to try with the best solution from what we're trying here. brush. See that nastiness coming off and you know, a bug falling out of the saddle there. But let's see if we can't get a lot of it. This is actually a boot brush. We'll do what we can with it. Hopefully, yeah, we're gonna have to use soapy water just because it's taking dust off. That's about it. Not only that schmutz, whatever that was. Brush, soapy water down. Grab some mild uh, soap 
actually Dawn dish soap, and we're gonna give these a quick wipe down. I'm gonna also use a little toothbrush to try to get out uh, anything that looks kinda more in depth, uh, lightly. I'm not gonna scrub for hours. I'm not gonna drench the whole saddle. I do wanna clean it so I don't rub any of those imperfections into the saddle, and then hopefully our mink oil, meat's foot, or leather lotion will absorb into these and make them pliable again. Again, these are they're pliable, but they're so solid that they don't really give at all, as like a saddle should. And you don't want them too supple to the point where that mink oil and meat sweat oil was gonna do, like if you were you know, sitting on a, an actual horse saddle or maybe a leather glove, those things will make those pretty supple. But I'm thinking this leather lotion will be best for us. Again, you can buy Brooks Profide, Brooke, Brooks branded Profide, and that's kind of more, kind of like a chapstick almost. It's a cream, kind of like mink oil. Uh, and what's gonna happen with that is, is it's, it's waxy and it kind of gets into the pores and does a good job. You can also buy, uh, what is it, Obernaus LP or leather oil, which is gonna hopefully do the same thing as our leather lotion, unlike our meat sweat or mink oil that we'll get to eventually. So let's give that a, a quick little wipe down. And I just have a mold washcloth here. We're gonna wipe these down. Try not to absorb too much in. I should try to be in front of the camera as best I can. <laughs> quick little wipe down. Again, you don't want it to really soak in too much. We don't want to reform this. You can actually take a moment if you'd like and view my uh, little snippet here. I'll add in uh, what I did with this other saddle that we will eventually apply leather lotion or mixed foot oil, mix or neat foot oil to, uh, because these, after being dried out for so long, look at that nastiness, can actually become uh, disformed from being dry for so long. And that's what happened with our other leather saddle. This guy is this one. I first actually got it. These wings were way out here. It was so dried out from sitting in the shed for so long that it actually pulled these kind of sides way up and out. So I did soak this in water and I, as you can see, put something tighter around here, uh, lanyard from the old school I went to, to kind of pull the sides back into where they should be. So quick little film if you'd like to watch that. We're gonna keep going with these. Uh, I will probably fast forward these next two just because it's boring. So quick little wipe down underneath as best I can also. I'm not trying to kind of clean every pore, but I will use a toothbrush to get back behind here. We're gonna use three different toothbrushes so we don't uh, apply different material to different saddles. So kind of fun to look at, play around with those different types, but I just wanna get most of the nastiness out of here so I don't have to push that around best I can. It's uh, never going to be 100% perfect brand new ever again. These are off of probably some 50 spikes. I don't remember the dates. I gotta look it up. So kind of unique springing too. Saddle one, we're gonna use mink oil. Saddle two, we're gonna use neat's foot oil. And saddle three, Berman's leather lotion. Berman is a coat company, or was a coat company, but leather products. If you'd like to pause and take a moment to read that, feel free to do so. Neat's foot oil, also if you'd like to pause, feel free to do so. And original mink oil for saddle one over there. Feel free if you'd like to pause. Start off with that original mink oil on the saddle here. You can see when you open it up, it's kind of more of a cream. I'm gonna use this toothbrush to apply it, just to spread hopefully evenly. It's a soft, brittle, soft uh, toothbrush. You'll see that it kind of hopefully soaks in very easily. It might even be easier to use my fingers. But right now, you can kind of fast forward if you'd like to. On to seat number two or saddle number two, uh, we're moving into meat sweat oil. Uh, I do also have this set aside, it's kind of soaking in. I don't want it to soak in forever, I just want those pores to kind of lubricate back up. I will give all of these a wipe down after the fact, so let's give this a go. This is more of a liquid. What I found when I was doing that first saddle, I've done this before, but that mink oil is so slimy. Now, I, of course, am now gonna apply it to the bottom first because this, the top got all sorts of slimy, and I'd handle that, it's not what I wanted, so. Alright, saddle number three, let's apply some 
Berman's Leather Lotion. Apparently, that's not every inch of leather, but you get every little nook and cranny on a saddle that has metal rivets without taking the most part. I'm not interested in doing that, so. Just an inconspicuous area, right? So I want you to absorb into a, a dry spot there. You see it, and it goes from being fairly reddish and absorbing in, becoming kind of darker, and you see it kind of happens. All right, I took the time to wipe these down. Uh, the mink oil kind of took a little bit of work. Uh, it cleaned off pretty nicely, though. The neat's foot oil actually soaked in very, very well and did not really need to be wiped down. And then the leather lotion uh, kind of left like an almost tacky surface uh, on that. I don't know if I like it. Uh, to be honest, the Neat's Foot Oil and the Mink Oil might end up better in this race. Again, I'm going to let them dry overnight here, and then in our next episode, we will be applying that winner of that race to our champion narrow. Uh, but it is a much narrower saddle than these B-72s. So hopefully, whichever product kind of wins, uh, it absorbs very well because this saddle is so dry and crispy uh, that it really, really needs the replenish. So, after thorough investigation, I think oil worked pretty good. Needs with oil. Still pretty solid, but shiny. Leather oil. It's still pretty dry. Still kind of brittle. End of the day here at Forzlands Fun Factory. We had a little bit of fun applying those products to the leather saddles. Uh, they look better. They ain't great. They're pretty old. Hopefully they come around. I applied a second coat. Uh, if you'd like to see more about those saddles, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, furthermore, I will be applying something to this. Please bleep blop it down in the comments what you think I should do with it. Again, so brittle and dry. Hopefully, we can get it to come around. Who knows? See you then.